Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jody with Board Game Perspective. So today we're taking a look at the expansion to Ganymede, which is Moon. All right, so now this basically adds a couple of different elements to everyone's player board. You have this moon board, which you will put on the left side of your play player board. You also have this Council of Ganymede, where you'll be placing different advisor tiles, uh, which also give you victory points and special abilities. So let's see how this game plays. So if you haven't seen our how to play video on Ganymede, we placed a link in the upper right hand corner where you can click on to watch that video. So to set up, each player is going to take the moon board and place it on the left side of their player board. And then also the Council of Ganymede board will be on, placed on the right side of the player board. And each player will grab a, a gray advisor meeple, which starts on the moon right here. Then each player will also grab a space road and place it right here in between that connects the moon and the earth. Now there will also be advisor tiles where you will place out five of them on the side and have the rest in a stack. And then there's some miscellaneous tokens. So the moon is the advisor's starting location and this is also where you will return the advisor once the advisor has made it all the way to Ganymede and has chosen an advisor tile. Now for the moon, you can only have four settlers on that location, unlike the Earth and Mars where it's six and five. The advisor does not count toward the settler limit. When performing the action choose a settler tile, there is now a fourth spot available ab above the moon location in addition to the three in the base game. So you can place a tile there and you can multiply its effect just like in the base game if there are other same types out already. Settlers recruited this way are going to be placed on the moon instead of the earth. So when placing a settler tile here, the moon has a special ability of adapting. So this means the color of the settlers on the settler tile you place on the, the moon board is not important, only its symbol. So with this example, I could, I could even choose just a purple settler and place there instead of a yellow or a blue. The moon to earth space road is a free move action for settlers. So at the beginning of your turn, if there is at least one settler on the moon, you can move it for free to earth while maintaining the guidelines of only having six settlers on earth. Now this does not apply to any of the other meeples like the advisor meeple or the president. They cannot move for free on the space road. So how you can move your advisor from the moon to the earth to Mars and to Ganymede is through the move effect. So basically you can do that through different ways. You have the move effect symbol, which is this, uh, when you choose a settler tile. So you, if I did this, I can move my advisor. Or if you had it through a, a shuttle that you use with the, the move, move effect on the bottom, uh, you can also discard tiles to get the basic action, which will allow you to move. And then basically anywhere where there's a basic action symbol, that you can always use that to move as well. Now the advisor has special abilities on depending on which location the advisor is. There's a summary of these abilities at the bottom of the moon board. Now there is not a special ability if the advisor is on the moon, but the first one is Earth. For the special ability when the advisor is on Earth, you can choose a settler ship from your hand and replace it, so basically swap it out with one of these settler ships or both that are already on the board. So I could take this one, put it back in my hand, and then put this one out. When the advisor is on Mars and when you are using a Mars shuttle, you can perform the effect at the bottom an additional time. So for this one, I could perform a basic action twice. In order to move your advisor to Ganymede, which you will place not on the car or the ships, but on Ganymede, you have to, of course, use a move symbol through the different ways we mentioned earlier. And then also an additional cost of discarding a settler ship from your hand. At the end of your turn, once the advisor is on Ganymede, you can choose an advisor, an advisor tile among the five that are available in the supply, and then you will place that tile on the lowest numbered spot available. So this one, it would be one. You would place the tile there. Now you, you get the uh, bonus effect that's listed on the board. So here I could perform a basic action when I place my tile. Here I could perform two basic actions that are not the same. 
three basic actions that are not the same, and if I fill up the fourth one, then I can launch a ship for free. Now all the advisor tiles have special abilities that you can use, and they also have give victory points at the end of the game. And once that is complete, you will then move your advisor back to the starting point of the moon. The game also comes with a reference for the advisor abilities, where you can look up and see what each advisor tile does for the rest of the game. The game ending conditions are the same as in the base game of Ganymede. And there you have it! That is the moon expansion for Ganymede. Now if this is something you think you might like to add on to the base game, go ahead and check out in the description below. We'll place a link there where you can get the game. And as always, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and help us out by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and until next time, thanks for watching.